Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to flash the latest, the first official for Poco M3 or Juice Unified Devices. So let us begin the flashing procedure. First of all, what we are going to do is we are going to wipe everything. So let us wipe everything and format data too. Okay, here we are. So let me reboot. Reboot the recovery. Let us wait till the recovery is being rebooted. All right, here it is. The next step that we are going to do is we are going to flash the vendor. From so vendor, I have kept it in SD card. So let us flash the vendor now. So the vendor is flashing now. Well, um, this is the way that I flash ROMs onto Poco M3. And if you're having any other method or any other steps, definitely you can try that too. Let the vendor flashing finish. Now flashing vendor has been finished. So let me wipe the cache and normally I would go for a recovery reboot. And once the vendor has finished flashing, we are going to flash the ROM. So in this case, we are going to flash the their first latest official one. So, so let us flash it. As you can see, it's flashed. So we have finished uh, flashing the ROM. Let me wipe the caches and go and flash the custom kernel. In this case, we are going to flash the latest Fury Citrus Moon kernel. Now we have finished everything. So let's wipe the caches and reboot to system. Yeah, here we have the splash screen. Okay, hi. Uh, here we are. We got the boot animation. Shouldn't take um, very long in the setup wizard so this is how uh, we would flash a rom and this is how we would um, get into the initial setup wizard so um, let's get it started and it will ask for some sim data stuff like that so let's do the initial formalities normally i prefer setup online in the first setup so let's go and do everything I don't need to send any diagnostic data and stuff like that. I will go for accept and fingerprint and stuff like that. That I will set it up later. Yeah, so here we are. We are going to see the home screen setup. Finally, we have made it into the home screen setup. We have finished our setup wizard and here we are in the home screen for of the first. First of all, let me show you the um, uh, let me show you what launcher it is using. It is using the default um, QuickStep launcher. So these all are the customization options that you get with the um, default um, default launcher. So yeah, it's pretty much really um, a nice launcher. So let us uh, review the other stuff. Uh, basically uh, the first has not changed anything from stock as you can see that it's having the stock user interface for the quick settings also so let us um, see the um, phone dialer and of course i was lucky to get the um, recorder for the uh, in call recorder for the google phone dialer so that is also really nice with the raw now um, the ROM is GApps version and as you can see that it is not heavily bloated with GApps but some GApps are also available and it is using the Proton camera as default. So this is how it looks like. Now um, coming to the ROM itself, now we all know that the first is famous for its customization and the ROM has many customization options too. Now this is how the settings page looks like as you can see that they have not modded any um, any layout on the settings page they kept it default 
so let us take take a look at what this customization this rom is offering us there space so the first option that we have is for battery settings now as we know that we have many battery style for the battery settings i always prefer to have text settings so i will select the text settings now you also can have battery bar and uh, which can be on the status bar top or bottom so let's have a look okay fine as you can see there is a line so it's working i don't really i don't really like battery bar so i will disable it then comes comes the carrier label where you want the carrier label to be displayed i'm going to disable it since i don't even use that settings too then clock and date settings status bar items here are some options to enable or disable then um traffic indicators so let us enable that um yeah as you can see there is wonderful traffic indicator and if you want to um uh, lower or the reduce the size of the text that you can do that and it's really working fine yeah so let us keep it done and um, let's reduce this size to yeah okay fine so that's really nice then miscellaneous if you want the that first logo to be displayed on your status bar you can do that and if you want colored icons to be on the status bar you can do that and definitely uh, the quick settings will not carry the uh, colored icons so if you want to do that you can do that and if you want to enable data disable icon or not you can certainly do that too then um um these all are the other options that are available with this and you can get um volite icon you have some different choices normally i don't use volite icon then comes the quick settings or notification and quick settings under the notification if you want the notification uh, count to be seen you can definitely enable that but since i'm using the colored status bar icons i won't uh, enable it then the standard option of vibrate on connect on call waiting and on disconnect is over here then quick settings if you want to have the quick settings pull down quick settings quick pull down you can do that these all are the um, standard options so basically these all options that we are familiar with the other roms too then comes the lock screen shortcuts again you can customize the lock screen shortcut if you want to um, customize it um then lock screen ui if you want to enable the ripple effect for the lock screen that you can do that and if you want to see the small clock or that is also possible with this rom again standard um standard customization options then ambient display so what all things you need to use on ambient display can also be configured from here i don't use this feature so it's not my cup of tea then comes the customization so first the monet engine if you want to use the black theme when uh, dark theme is being enabled you can do that or if you want to use custom colors as theme color you can do that now you get quite a lot of font options from the uh, fonts so we have many uh, font choices from the fonts section now icon pack if you want to customize the icon pack overall icon pack for the um, rom user interface interface definitely you can do that too and these all are the options that are available and it is neatly packed and the user interface is also very nice now coming back we can customize the volite icon if you want to have the expedia icon you can do that and you have quite a lot of choices for that too then comes the signal icon again the same like uh, the wifi icon you have quite a lot of choices with this particular rom and if you want to customize the icon shape of the overall rom definitely you can do that and you even get nice choices of icon shapes that's really wonderful then comes the pulse um, navigation pulse and stuff like that again um, i don't use this sort of feature but still that looks really nice and this is something that happens when you play the music then navigation bar then some general settings if you want to see the um toast app i can definitely you can enable that well that is about the customization that the rom is offering us 
under the battery you get an idle manager if you um, it it says stop all non essential background processes when the device is idle so that is also a nice feature let's um, enable that let's see if we can extend our battery performances then comes the display and let's take a look at the dark theme so let me enable the dark theme okay that is also really nice i don't think that we are go we have um, some kind of uh, choices for the dark theme is available so basically if you want to enable the black theme you can definitely do that from the customization option and if you want to see the refresh rate definitely you can do that or from the display settings itself now wallpaper and style uh, if you want to use the themed icon yeah you can do that and uh, it's working too okay if you want to change so the wallpaper der first is offering us quite a lot of good wallpapers if you want to use the der wallpapers definitely you can use that so you get quite a lot of uh, nice wallpapers with the derp owl then comes the system icon pack again <laughs> the same we have found in the or the same we have seen in the um, in the in the customization option so better to change the grid layout once you have finished installing or flashing the row that looks really nice so let us go back again to the settings and uh, try to see what all gesture options it has so let's uh, select the gesture and keys option first of all let's see what all option we have with the just system navigation so basically gesture navigation do button and three button navigations are available if you want to hide the pill definitely you can do that by enabling the full screen gesture personally i don't like the pill bottom pill then you get a double tap to check um, phone if you want to enable that you can enable that tap to sleep is here and you even get a swipe to screenshot let's have a look so yeah it's really working so again quickly open camera is there and you get some pretty much good customization option here also and basically the rom is equipped with a swipe to screenshot feature that's an added on advantage too so let's go to the about phone and see about the android version well the android version here it's using the um, 12 and it is the official version of dub first and we have the maintainer information and um, i'm using i have installed the custom kernel onto this and i'm using the latest fury kernel so that is about the review of official dub first um, rom and i have really enjoyed the rom and i do really appreciate the maintainer of the rom um, bringing into our device poco m3 or use unified devices i mean the maintainer had done a, a a nice job to make the rom ultra smooth and i really love the rom look look at the app launching uh, app launching without any issue the app launching is pretty much smooth and i do really enjoy the rom so many thanks to the to the maintainer of the rom and also the developer of the rom they did a wonderful job and especially um, the maintainer of the rom for poco m3 did a wonderful job by optimizing his um, opti optimizing their trees uh, to give us better performance i really enjoy the rom um, so that is about the their first rom what are my final verdicts if you want to use the first as your daily driver definitely you can use that what about the battery backup and stuff like that i do not know i have just flashed the rom as you have uh, seen in the initial setup video i cannot really make any judgment about the rom now let's uh, take a look at if the rom passes safety net um so basically i am using magis hide as you can see from here and let me check the safety net it passes yeah so let's have you say an application let me run the safety net attestation it is a pass so that is really wonderful so if you want to use the rom as a daily driver definitely you can use it without any issues if you want to use it with the default kernel there is nothing wrong with it you can definitely use that many thanks for watching the video and please make sure to subscribe to let's talk by 
jobs and press on the bell icon so that you won't miss any further future updates.